Hi guys, it's Camille from Pareto Education and in this video we will discuss headaches. Headaches are a very common cause of presentation to general practice and you should be familiar with these. As part of a comprehensive headache history, you must always ask the following questions. Ask about the onset. Is it a sudden onset or a gradual onset? A sudden onset may indicate a subarachnoid hemorrhage. Ask about headache severity. Is it mild, moderate? Could be a tension headache or is it a very severe headache? rating perhaps 9 or 10 on the pain scale. This could indicate a migraine or a cluster headache. Ask about preceding symptoms. Are there any auras? This can indicate a migraine. Is there some changes in the lifestyle recently, perhaps added stress, sleep deprivation? These could also indicate towards a tension headache. Red flags for headache history include weight loss, which could signify a space occupying lesion and even a cancer. Vertigo, which could indicate a posterior stroke. Fevers, this could indicate a possible meningitis. So that's a little summary of headache history and let's see the example. Hello, my name is Camille and I'm one of the advanced clinical practitioners at the surgery. Can I start by taking your name on your full day of birth, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm uh, Alfred Jones and I'm 43. Hi, nice to meet you, Alfred. So we'll go through a quick history about what brings you into the practice today. So how can I help? Well, to be honest, I'm here because of a, a really bad headache and I've become really troubled by it and um, I just wanted to get it checked out. No, absolutely, that's something we can definitely do. So tell me a little bit more about this headache. Is this the first headache you've had or is this something you've been troubling you for a while? I've had this headache for probably a couple of months now, but today it's really, really bad. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. So is the headache, it's not been continuous, it's episodic or tell me a lot about that. I mean, it comes and goes, Okay, I guess so. I haven't really quite worked out a pattern to the headache, mm. but it definitely comes and goes, but it's really bad today. Oh, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll, we'll try and get to the bottom of this, absolutely. I hope so, because I'm really troubled by it, to be mm. honest. So tell me, in the last couple of months, you've said it since it started, is there sort of a, you said it's not, how many times a month was it? Is it once a month, twice a month? Probably at least uh, twice a month. Twice it kind a of, month. It kind of comes on and then goes away by itself. Okay. And tell me about when it starts, the onset. Is it quite a sudden onset or gradual? I think it's definitely gradual. Okay. Um, tends to kind of get worse. Okay. And when it sort of starts, um, anything you're doing in particular, say you not notice a pattern as such? No, not particularly. No pattern. Okay. And is it increasing in frequency as the months have gone by or? No, not necessarily frequency, severity. Okay, really. And when it's at its uh, least painful to its most painful, what's the range of the headache? I mean, when it's at its least painful, probably about two out of 10. Okay. But when it's at its most, probably about seven out of seven 10. Out of 10, so quite painful then really. Very much so. Okay, and tell me during this headache, how long does it last in total normally? Well, it could be a couple of days. Uh, by couple, I mean probably about three, four, even up to five days. Oh wow, so yeah. And does it impact on your daily life? It can do, yeah. it can do. Um, it really, it really detracts me from work, mm. stops me doing my best at work and yeah. I just, I just want to get it checked out really. Okay, we can definitely do that for you and during this time when you've got the headache, does anything help you as such? Do you... Well, I do take some paracetamol okay. um, just, to, just to give me some support but I found that that doesn't really help me okay. at all. Alright, so let's talk about some other symptoms surrounding a headache. So you've definitely got this headache, pain in your head, are there any other symptoms? Let's talk about... Any vomiting as such? No vomiting. Do you feel dizzy when it, this happens? No dizziness. Okay. Do you feel like you're really unwell that you want to sort of stay at home? Is it impacting on that level where you're not able to? Not quite. Okay. Not quite. All right. And do things like light or darkness make anything better or worse? Well, I do find that light, light definitely makes it a little bit worse. Okay. So I tend to find myself shutting the lights or even dimming them okay. when, the, when the headache is really bad. Mm. And in terms of during this headache, is there any other symptoms such as, you know, flashing lights, for example, anything like that? Well, now that you've mentioned it, mm. definitely on a couple of occasions, I've noticed that before I get the headache, mm. I actually start to have maybe like some distortion in my vision. I okay. guess I can describe it like that. Okay. Some wobbly lines and even some some flashing lights. Okay, and that could be quite concerning for yourself. Is that every headache? Not every headache. Okay. Um, but, but it's becoming more frequent okay. with the headaches. Sure, right. Are you having any 
sort of hearing changes that are associated with this? Not particularly. Okay. And do loud noises irritate you at all or anything like that? No, not not really. Okay. And do you get any sort of temperatures at all? No, no, not that feverish. I felt, no. Don't and feel no feverish. body tiredness or anything like that? No. All right, okay. A little bit more about these headaches and then we'll get into your past medical history a little bit as well, okay? So tell me, when you're sort of having these headaches, do you feel like, you know, itchiness or rash, anything like that? No, I haven't noticed any rashes. Okay. And does any position change affect your headache? So moving your head from left to right or sitting up, anything like that? No, no, okay. I've been all right from that point of view. In terms of yourself, have you felt unwell in yourself in terms of like weight loss, anything like that, some general mm. fatigue? No, I mean, if anything, I've gained weight. <laughs> all right, okay, that's, okay. So in terms of your lifestyle, has there anything been changing? So, you know, any extra stress, you know, any big lifestyle, big... Um... Well, I think, you know, work, work is busy. I work mm. as an accountant. Okay. And, um, you know, I'm always on the phone to, to clients. Yeah. Um, but I manage it well enough. Okay. Any changes in your sleep, anything like that? I've never been a great sleeper, but recently I've been sleeping more. Okay. Fine. So you say that you've had these headaches for the past couple of months, they've been episodic and can last anyway to three to four days. Can start off quite mild, from around two out of ten pain up to around seven and preceding some of these headaches you do feel these flashing lights, those squiggly lines that you've described. Mm -hmm. There's nothing really that helps you just to sort of you know rest in bed and that sort of can help although it's not affecting your daily life on every headache. Mm. And preceding these headaches, you've not got much of a headache history in terms of in your personal life having headaches previously. All right. So you've not experienced any weight loss and there's no dizziness, no sickness, anything like that. Okay, brilliant. So let me ask you a little bit about your past medical history. Do you have any other medical problems? I'm all right, actually. Okay, so no past medical problems. That's good. And so you, do you take any medications, even, for example, vitamins, over-the-counter things, things like that? I know you mentioned paracetamol. No, nothing in addition to that. Okay, and no allergies? No. Okay, and let's talk a little bit about your social life. So you said you worked in a bank, is that right? Not quite a bank. I mean, I work, I work as an accountant, so sometimes I'm in the bank, sometimes I'm at home. Okay, perfect. And in terms of things like smoking and drinking, do you partake in smoking tobacco, drinking alcohol? Uh, yeah, I mean, occasionally I dibble dabble. But, but nothing too nothing too excessive. Okay, so you smoke and you drink as well? I do, yes. Yeah, how many a day would you say? Probably about five a day. Okay. And uh, I probably drink about once a week. Okay. Just some beer. All right, maybe one pint, two pints? Yeah. Okay, and is that changed recently or anything like that? No. I've been doing that for a long time. No. Okay. Simple. Perfect. And when you came into the surgery today, were you thinking of anything in particular that was worrying you or that you were really wanted to get on top of anything? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm quite worried about, you know, sinister things like other people are, like cancers and okay. brain tumours. Okay. I've been watching EastEnders recently and I know somebody's passed away with a, a brain tumour and that gets you thinking a little bit. Okay, sure. So we'll discuss these kind of things as well. So in terms of, from what you've told me, in terms of your, in terms of the history with these headaches, these sound like migraines? Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So sometimes these can, you know, develop in sort of middle age. I know you said uh, you're 43 and these can sometimes be quite debilitating as well. Mm. With the aura you mentioned, aura is just a word we use to describe the, the flashing lights that you were describing in your vision. Right. This is quite characteristic of migraines. Okay, I see. Yeah, and there are certain triggers that can perhaps trigger a migraine, but sometimes they can sort of be triggered on their own. Okay. Um, migraines are benign, which means they're not associated with anything sinister or cancer or anything like that. Oh, that's, that's reassuring, isn't it? Yeah. And there are definitely treatment options that we can sort of facilitate for your migraines mm. that oh. would definitely help your symptoms. Brilliant. No, I'd quite like to hear about those. So for migraines, there is simple advice normally that we give to patients. Sort of keep well hydrated, try and reduce stress levels. Any trigger that you see, we normally ask patients to keep a headache diary. And this is a very good idea in terms of, this is when my headache was happening. This is how many times a month it's happening. This is the severity. This was what I was doing immediately preceding the headache. And this is how long it lasted and what I did to help it. That's a good idea. Yeah, so that's something we generally recommend. Another thing is the simple uh, pain relief that you can get from over the counter. So paracetamol and even ibuprofen is normally a good idea. You can take those when you feel that the headache is coming on and that normally gives provides good relief. Okay. If they don't help, then there are further options 
such as triptans, a certain class of medication, which we can discuss on our further review in a couple of weeks time, just to see how you're getting on. Brilliant, no, that sounds fantastic. All right, so there are a couple of things that I wanna just advise you about before we end the consultation. And just things to be aware of, and you know, if these kind of things happen, and you can just come back and get reviewed again and seek a medical advice. Mm -hmm. So if the headache becomes very severe, sort of 10 out of 10 pain, if the headache is different to your normal headache, so you know your normal sort of cycle that you go through, if it's a new type of headache, a sudden onset becomes very severe very quickly, um, you, this vision changes lasts a long time or you have any blindness, anything like that, any changes to your headache on moving around, this can be quite severe as well. And fever associated with your headache, this is something that we'd wanna see you more urgently for. All sounds quite scary actually. Well, if that were the case, then we'd definitely look into it a little bit more. All Fair right? enough. Okay, so I'd like to thank you for taking the time today and I hope I've answered all your questions. Absolutely, no, thank you very much. All right, thank you.